Next on the list. Oh, a hatchet. Good, good times right there, man. Come get some. Come on. Come on. Worst mistake you ever fucking made. Oh! What the fuck? What? <laughs> oh, it was great. It was awesome. Katana, nah. That's gonna be the last weapon. Come get some, bitch. <laughs> you're such a you're such a fucking tryhard. Look at your R1 spam, bro. What is this, Dark Souls? You better hope I don't get up, bitch. Look at you, bitch. Look at you. Sit the fuck down. You're garbage. You just fucking imitated every every fucking generic Dark Souls player that ever existed. Congrats. Um <laughs> Love and hate. You know what I'm not gonna do that because I already did some like like a punching thing. Nailboard though, you can get this nailboard problem, sir. Come get some. Whack this cox over his fucking head and Oh! Tiger power, bitch! <laughs> Works every time. That's gross. Yeah, I take bullets like fucking Tony Montana. Eat dicks. Yeah, whatever. Hey, bro, did you hear that rumor? You fucking died. Gave your shit in like a fucking Viking. Can you see me, motherfucker? I'm good, some. You know what? I said I was gonna kill all you fuckers with slip. You fucking died. Huh. What the hell? Did that guy just freeze in place? Okay, cool. Thanks for lining up for me, I guess. Just like a Viking, get some. Ugh. Bruh. I just raped your fucking skull. Get some. Had enough? Had enough? Oh, a golf, a golf club. Good shit. Oh no, R1 spam. Let's go, pussy. Come on. Four. Ugh. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> oh shit! That motherfucker flew. Oh. Yeah, fuck you. You dicks. That was great. I'm about to do it on this guy, too. Come here. Don't run, chicken shit. Uh. Mm. Oh. Oh. I hate golf, but I'm gonna kill you with a golf club. Die. You know what? You're just gonna skip all these fucking pieces of shit. Wait, what the f... Where the fuck's my rolling pin? It's bullshit, I know I have it. Yeah. This is horse shit. Like, like I picked it up. What the fuck? <sighs> you just gotta be a cunt to the end, don't you, game? You know what? I've had enough of this shit. Fuck off. Come get some. Some of you think you're a bad motherfucker. Come get some of that shit. Sit down. Um, no. You like that? Whoa, what happened? You fucking died. Sit down. You wanna fucking glitch my game out and not give me my rolling pin? Time for you to die. Come on down. What you doing over there? What you doing over there? 
the fuck down. What are you doing up there? What are you doing up there? What are you doing up there? Dying? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, you just you are just gonna stay up there. Cool. I can oblige that, sir. Not to worry. Not to worry, we know how to deal with faggots like you. There you go, have some mini nukes. Oh god, they're all coming back at me. Mmm, holy shit. Not one of my brightest ideas, but, uh, it'll do. <laughs> Look at this fucking guy. What are you doing, kid? Have some of those. Oh my god. That motherfucker died. Holy shit. Have some of that, little bitch. Obliteration. Duke, Duke. What? 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 Did you, what do you think you were gonna do? Huh? Please enlighten. Please enlighten me on what you thought you were going to do. Enough of this shit. Tired of playing this fucking game. Didn't give me my rolling pin. It's Bunch of bullshit. Ready in this fucking piece of shit game. Huh. <laughs> nice one. That's a fine bit of work back there. Truth told, I'm surprised you made it out of there in one piece. You and the dam. I'm impressed to say the least, and that's no easy thing. You've secured NCR's future. The administration sends its thanks for what it's worth. Yeah, dicks. Look, the NCR isn't everyone here. And it definitely ain't you. It's filled with people that take action and don't wait for someone to say what's right and wrong and make sure the proper form's filled out. When there's an example of that kind of success, that can shake things up enough so the good that came with the intention shines through. Of course not. You earned it. Rest up. Let us carry things for a while. Kind of curious how this is going to pan out in the long run, but I guess history will tell us in its own sweet time. Hey, you're a time. pussy. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The New California Republic celebrated its second victory at Hoover Dam, establishing definitive control over the entire Mojave Wasteland. Soon after, they negotiated terms to annex the Strip, Freeside, and many surrounding communities. The Mojave Wasteland, at long last, had entirely fallen under the NCR's banner. The courier, fair and even-handed in his dealings throughout the wasteland, was honored by the NCR for his support of the military at Hoover Dam. He was presented with the Golden Branch, the highest civilian decoration given by the Republic. Though some super mutants and Nightkin continued to journey to the legendary Utobitha, they found little trace of its existence. Some eventually found their way to Jacobstown, but many wandered off into the wastes, confused and disheartened. With the help of the Gunrunners, the Boomers developed a healthy trading relationship with the NCR. Eventually, the Boomers began wandering out into the wasteland while still preventing outsiders from entering Nellis. The Brotherhood and the NCR in the Mojave Wasteland declared an official truce, despite continued hostilities between the two in the West. As per their agreement, the NCR handed over all suits of salvaged power armor, and in return, the Brotherhood helped patrol I-15 and Highway 95. 
Despite her departure from the group, the Brotherhood's peace treaty with NCR came as some relief to Veronica. Though she remained friendly with surface patrols, she was never again permitted to enter the bunker she once called home. Fearing for the safety of anyone she associated with, she continued her solitary life as a scavenger. Never weakened by NCR, the Fiends staged an attack against Camp McCarran during the Second Battle at Hoover Dam. Though NCR repulsed the Fiends, they suffered heavy losses in the process. After the NCR's victory at the dam, the followers of the Apocalypse were pushed out of Old Mormon Fort during its occupation by NCR forces. NCR further encouraged them to leave Outer Vegas entirely, and the followers had no choice but to comply. Good Springs saw more trade along I-15 after NCR gained control of the Mojave Wasteland, but with that came a heavy burden of the Republic's taxes. Some old-timers, unable to handle the cost, were forced to move on, grumbling all the while. Cass survived to see the NCR flag flying proud over Hoover Dam, and thought for a moment, this is what a hero must feel like. She was about to tell the courier not to get too proud of himself. Then she figured, he knew that already. That night, Cass kicked in the door of his room to celebrate, only to find the man on the bed was an NCR soldier whose barracks had been destroyed. He was cute though, so after having her way with him, she got the hell out, leaving an empty whiskey bottle as a note. As she walked along the dam in the night, she felt drunk, content, and happy to be alive. Which to her, was the whole point of it all. During the Battle of Hoover Dam, the Great Khans quickly evacuated Red Rock Canyon and headed north and east into the plains of Wyoming. There, they reconnected with the followers of the Apocalypse and rebuilt their strength. Bolstered by ancient knowledge of governance, economics, and transportation, they carved a mighty empire out of the ruins of the Northwest. Thanks to the Courier and Lily, a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. After the NCR victory at Hoover Dam, the temporary truce between them and the Kings blossomed into a full-scale relief effort for the people. While the NCR made repeated entreaties that Freeside join the Republic, the Kings steadfastly maintained their independence. Shaped up by the courier's advice, the misfits distinguished themselves during the Legion's attack on Camp Golf. Mags was finally promoted to sergeant, and the rest of the misfits received an official commendation. They continued to serve with distinction for many years. Though Novak was a low priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses allowing it to remain independent of NCR. Looking for a place where he could be of some use, Boone found himself re-enlisting with his old unit. Though his regrets remained in his thoughts, they coalesced into a purpose, and Boone embraced it. After Hoover Dam, the leaderless powder gangers at the correctional facility vanished into the waste, leaving the prison empty. The correctional facility became another abandoned ruin in the wasteland, its carcass occasionally picked over by enterprising prospectors. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. Prim Slim proves to be an able-minded, if not able-bodied, sheriff for Prim. And due to his slow speed, some crooks get away without a scratch. But Prim continues to prosper under his watchful robotic eye. An 
And so the courier's road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. <laughs>